Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam ama ba'd Where should we turn our differences when we differ in affairs in Islam? Because as we see in this day and age, we have so many differences. We have differences in jama'at, meaning in groups. We have differences in hiz, ahzab, we have difference in sects and sectarianism. And we have differences of opinion. And all of this is in accordance with prophecy. The Prophet wasallam said, فَمَنْ يَعِيشْ مِنْكُمْ بَعْدِي فَسَيَّرَى اِخْتَلَافٍ كَثِيرًا And whoever lives after me so, so shall see many differences of opinion. فَعَلَيْكَ بِسُنَّتِي Then he gives us the remedy. So he says, it is upon you my sunnah. فَعَلَيْكَ بِسُنَّتِي وَسُنَّةَ خُلَفَى رَاشِدِينَ الْمَحْدِينَ And the sunnah or the way of the Four rightly guided Khalifat. And who are they? They are Abu Bakr, Wa Umar, Wa Uthman, Wa Ali, Radiallahu Ta'ala Anhum Ajma'in. That that's how we solve our differences. We go back to the Sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And we go back to the Sunnah of his companions, what they had consensus of on. This is how we take our aqidah, our belief, our creed. This is how we understand the religion of Islam. This is how we practice the fiqh and the mu'amalat, how we uh, understand the religion and how we cooperate and work with one another. We do this by returning to the Qur'an and the sunnah of the Prophet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Qur'an, فَإِن تَنَزَعْتُمْ فِي شَيْءٍ فَرُدُّوهُ إِلَى اللَّهِ وَرَسُولِهِ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the Almighty says, then if you... <coughs> If you differ in something, so again, this is talking about differences. If you have a disagreement and you differ on something, then return that issue to Allah and His Messenger, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. This is where we return our differences. It's not based upon our desires. It's not based upon our, our tribe or our, our, our group affiliation or our his, our party, our sect, our. Um, what, you know, whatever that we align ourselves with, our political party, political faction, but rather it's based upon Islam. And it's based upon the Quran and the Sunnah. That's what we use to educate our affairs. So, Sheikh Salih bin, uh, Sheikh Muhammad Salih bin Uthaymeen, Rahimallah Ta'ala said in regards to this ayat, this verse, he said that we return to Allah always. When in reference to this verse, the verse which said that if we if you disagree over something, then you should return to Allah and His Messenger. So the Shaykh said that we should always return to Allah. We should always be returning to Allah. And we return to the Prophet at his person, per se, during his lifetime. And after his lifetime, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, which means now, we return to his sunnah. We return to his methodology, his his madhab, his way of doing things, his tariqah, his path, and that's what it's upon us as Muslims. We cannot return. We cannot make supp We cannot supplicate to the Prophet sallallahu and ask for his guidance or his forgiveness. No, but rather we always return to Allah, return our affairs to Allah, and ask and supplicate and pray to Allah, and we follow the way the Prophet sallallahu did. Uh, the way the Prophet ﷺ, you know, managed his affairs and his complete sunnah if we want the success in this life as well as the hereafter. And if we really want to follow that verse where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, فِي نَزَعْتُمْ فِي شَيْءٍ فَرَدُّوهُ إِلَى اللَّهِ وَرَسُولِهِ إِن كُنْتُمْ تُؤْمِنُوا بِاللَّهِ وَالْيَوْمِ الْآخِرِ ذَلِكَمْ خَيْرٌ لَكُمْ وَأَحْسَنَ تَأْوِيلًا So, if we want to practice that, we return to Allah and we return our affairs to what? To the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And I ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad.